Hello, uh, very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss the case now of uh, <coughs> Miss Sally Webster. Sally Webster is a high school student and she is having a problem of uh, anorexia nervosa and we are going to write about her condition to a psychiatrist. And this is a referral letter to the psychiatrist, Dr. Midori Ab, 48 Wickham TC, Spring Hill. We are going to write a referral letter to the psychiatrist. So what for what purpose you are writing to a psychiatrist? We do have a psychiatric problem here and that's anorexia nervosa and this is better treated by a psychiatrist than a medical or a nursing practitioner so that's the reason why we are transferring the patient to a psychiatrist so let's go ahead with the case in detail today's date is uh, 21st of february 2017 and we are writing a 17 year old about a 17 year old high school student that's sally webster on 27th of uh, december that was the first presentation of uh, this particular girl and she complained of constipation for almost uh, uh which almost uh she almost had it for uh, uh, three months. And um, the frequency of her uh, firm bowel action was uh, once in four to five days. And um, regarding her dietary habit, she includes two tablespoons of bran each morning. <sighs> Now, she tried laxatives, but no improvement in her condition. Otherwise, she is well and good. Now, when she go with the <coughs> objective presentation, we can see her weight is 54 kg. Our vital signs are not remarkable, her rectal examination is not remarkable. Abdominal, abdomen is lax, no masses, no problem there. So we uh, assess the situation and we assess that her diet is inappropriate to her requirement. And we have advised her to increase vegetables, fibers, fruit, and fluid intake. Now, if we go ahead with the next date, that's on this month of February, about a week ago, she presented again with her mother and her mother is concerned about lack of appetite and loss of weight of Miss Sally. The, 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 she reported constant conflict between uh, Sally and uh, um, her parent, mother, and uh, Miss Sally tells that it's just uh, a situation whether she is not feeling hungry. That's it. Now, on fifteenth of February, that's a week ago, we have assessed her weight and we found that she lost six kg in just a month and a half. You can see that's a considerable um, decline in her weight. Um, now her BP is unremarkable. She was looking emaciated. She's looking pale and thin. And no uh, ab abnormal, uh, other abnormalities. So we have, uh, we have advised uh, Sally to come for a review alone, along with uh, some blood investigations like full full blood e examination, thyroid 
urine examination and um, liver function test. Now, we have got a lot of investigations there. And she presented today. When she presented today, she appears to be distant in our contacts. And she is um, she was found to have little eye contact. Feels parents are overacting. Um, uh, feels ideal weight is 40 kg, currently 47 kg. Um, I think it's a small spelling mistake here. It's not overacting, it is overreacting. Now, she denies vomiting and she's vague about laxity views. Now, we can see her test results absolutely quite normal. And we have confirmed her diagnosis as anorexia nervosa. And therefore, we, re we refer her to the psychiatrist. That's Mr. Medoriabe. Now, we have understood the condition of the patient. And we are going to write the letter in detail. That's today's date. That's 21st February 2017. Dr. Midori Yabi, psychiatrist. Dear Dr. Yabi, reference Miss Sally Webster, aged 17. I'm writing to refer Miss Sally Webster a high school student who requires your mental status assessment and management. She has worsening symptoms of anorexia nervosa. And why we have written this particular thing here, mental status assessment, because you are writing to a psychiatrist and we understand her condition is anorexia nervosa. We need to uh, go ahead uh, with uh, her psychological status. Now, that from our case note, we understood that she was, she appeared to be distant from our communication. At the same time, she was not having enough eye contact with us. And this uh, represents or this shows some sorts of psychological problem. And we need to assess the psychologist, psychological status of uh, Miss Sally to understand what exactly is happening with him, her, with her, uh, if if she has any other condition or associative disorder, regard uh, reg along with uh, this anorexia nervosa, it has to be assessed and has to be timely treated. And the best possible way to do that is to refer to a psychiatrist, and that's what we have done here. I'm writing to refer Miss Sally Webster. That's um, if the patient is under the age of 18, we write uh, Miss, if it is a female, Miss Sally Webster. If it is over 18, if the if 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 a female candidate. And if the candidate is over 18, whether she is married or whether she is not married, we can go with miss. I repeat, if uh, the if it is a female client, if she is divorced, she is a divorcee or she is married or uh, she is not married and you, you don't have any information, but you definitely know that she's over 18. You can use the salutation Miss MS. And if you are damn sure that she's under the age of 18, you can use the salutation Miss. And if it's given Mrs., you can go with Mrs. No problem there. And this is a common confusion there with the candidates. Where to use Miss, where to use Mrs., and where to use MS. So it's clear, I think so. Let's go ahead with uh, the first paragraph. On her first presentation on 27 December 2016, Miss Sally complained of constipation, which she reported to have persisted for three months despite using laxatives. Now, 
Sally was present. Sally, Sally presented to us on 27th of December 2016. Last year, she presented and she complained of constipation, which she reported to have persisted for three months despite, even though she was using laxatives, her constipation persisted. And for almost three months, the past three months, she was suffering with the particular condition. And this is what her complaint was on 27 December 2016. Since the diet plan was inappropriate for her body requirements, she was advised to increase the take of vegetables, fibers, and fluids. Now, um, she has got her inappropriate diet plan. She, we understood. We are not going to say that she is taking two tablespoons of rice bran uh, or wheat bran uh, with her uh, in the morning. So we just say that it is inappropriate. It's not appropriate to the body requirements. We advise her to have adequate fruits, vegetables, uh, fibers, and fluids to improve her condition. This is what the initial assessment is about. Her mother who accompanied her when she presented the second time on 15th of this month. So she presented to us on 15th of this month, that's February 2017, was her second presentation and that was with her mother. She expressed this serious concerns over her appetite and weight loss. <clears throat> Now, this is what we can see. She, she had serious concerns over her appetite and weight loss. Who? Her mother. Assessment revealed that she lost 6 kg from her previously recorded weight of 54 kg. Now, we have recorded 54 kg when she came on December the 27th, 2016. Right now, after one and a half months, we have analyzed that she lost six kg. That's a considerable weight loss in just one and a half months. Therefore, Miss Sally was advised to come for a review alone with blood investigation reports, including thyroid and liver function tests. So this is what we have. So, so one, what you have understood, mother, was very much concerned about the weight loss and the appetite. We examined and we found that she lost 6 kg and this is a serious condition. So we wanted to talk to her in person with her blood reports and we advise her to do a blood investigations including thyroid and liver function test. I have mentioned just two, other three, other two or three are there. Just when with one or two just to say that these types of tests were done okay now we have to go ahead with the yeah on her presentation today now she presented today miss sally appeared distant and hardly had any eye contact now she presented today. That's this day she presented alone. So we advise her to present, uh, present alone. She presented alone. She appeared to be distant and hardly had any, any eye contact. She didn't have any eye contact. She blamed her parents for their over-concern regarding her weight, which she considers to be ideal at 40 kg. She thinks that her ideal body weight is 40 kg. And this is what she believes. She firmly believes. This is something which is her psychological status is. She firmly believes. She attests that her ideal body weight is 40 kg and there is she she is just wondering so why the parents are worrying about the weight she is just she is just uh, over 40 now she is 46 kg so at this point why she's wondering why her parents are uh, worried about 
since her investigation reports are normal and her diagnosis is almost confirmed she's been sent to you so what is the reason why i'm sending to your care or why i'm referring to you is that she doesn't have any medical problem her blood investigation is uh, blood investigations are completely normal <laughs> no problem at all and her diagnosis is almost confirmed as anorexia nervosa and once again we can say that her weight is continuously declining constantly declining so it was it she lost six kg uh between the first and uh, the second visit and between the second and the third visit she has lost another uh one kg so this shows that her condition is becoming worse so what we have to say and assessing this is not a medical condition we don't have any physical symptoms here we have to refer to a psychiatrist confirming oh we have confirmed almost confirmed that this is anorexia nervous so, so a specialized advice is needed so that's why i'm referring to a psychiatrist it would be appreciated if you could assess her psychological status and provide her the best possible treatment which you feel the most appropriate. And this is what we can say. You, you please provide her the best possible treatment once you have completed her, her assessment of psychological status. Please Provide her the best possible pre which treatment which you feel that the most appropriate is. If you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact me, your sincerely nurse practitioner. So that's that's the explanation of this particular question. We look at the question once. You're writing to a psychiatrist regarding um the condition of uh, miss sally webster and her condition is anorexia nervosa addressing today this is the purpose to assess the mental status examination to assess the mental status ex uh, mental status and management condition is given there the first paragraph a little bit lengthy paragraph we have uh, consolidated the first two visits there when she was presented the first and when she came with her mother the second. This is her presentation alone where she had where she identified that she has some some source of psychological problem where she is mentally not fit. She's keeping distance from us. Uh, this is uh, to be uh, analyzed by a psychiatrist and that's why we are referring to a psychiatrist. So if you are making a request to the psychiatrist that assess her psychological status and provide her the best possible treatment. And that's the end of the explanation. Have a nice day.